Welcome everybody, you got Blaze bringing you a new series on MLV 15 The Show. Today I'm going to be starting a franchise mode. I have brought it down to the Royals as the team I want to use. I was taking a look at their roster and everything seems good except the pitching staff. They got a couple good assets here. They got Ventura. He's a flamethrower. Maybe an asshole, but he's a flamethrower. They got Volquez. He's a solid number four, number five guy in my book. But other than that, and then, and then Danny Duffy. But he's not more than a number five pitcher. But other than that, the only other pitcher they got that is worth anything to me is Finnegan, but I'd probably use him in a trade to get a better one. And then also, where is he at? Let's see if I can find him. Sean Manea. And uh, Miguel Amonte, but they're not going to be ready for a few years, so they're not really worth what I need them to be right now. So I may wind up trading a couple of them just so I can get a top guy, like a Cole Hamels, because the Phillies definitely need to trade him. And you know they're going to be wanting to, so. The other thing I want to do with this team is get rid of Omar and Fonte. I know he's beloved by Royals fans, but I hate him. So I'm going to get rid of him. So without further ado, let's get this thing going. Leave all this the same, nothing really here pertinent to change. First, I'm going to simulate through the spring training. Then, I will go take a look at our opening day roster. Got Escobar, Mustakis, Kane, Hosmer, Morales, Gordon, Rios, Perez, and Fonte for now. With Dyson, Cologne, and Butera? Maybe I said that right? I don't know from the Midwest. I don't talk right. And then we'll take a look at our pitching staff, which I already know sucks. We got Ventura and Volquez. Duffy. Like I said a little bit ago. And then other than Hokover and Madsen and then the bottom three that everybody knows, Herrera, Davis, and Holland. The bullpen could use an upgrade or two, but I'm going to focus on the rotation first. First, I want to go into free agency and see if there's just anybody I can sign that could help out right now, which I don't think there's going to be. And if anybody was wondering about the budgets being so high earlier when I chose my team, I'm using the Operation Sports most updated roster, so they're a little out of whack, I think. But if anybody wants to check on that and see if they're close to the real budgets, go ahead. I'm not going to harp on that too much. Just don't see anybody that would help out. There's quite a few relief pitchers in here that might, but that seems to be about it. This might be the way we fix our, ro or fix our, excuse me, fix our bullpen. Sorry about that. Jesus, it is 2 in the morning, so if I'm all over the place, excuse me. Okay, I'm going to go to relief pitchers. Get rid of this guy. He's not going to make it. Ugh, 
Tim Collins, what are you doing in Class A? Well, there's one to help out. I think I'm just going to sign one more guy. But I don't know who yet. I think it might be Donnie Veal. I just like... Ooh, that break. That is definitely worth taking a look at. He doesn't really want too much. I don't want to sign him for five years. I think I'm just going to sign him for two a million oh he wants 510 so we'll give him 1.1 ah oh, shit my bad I don't think there's going to be any position players worth even picking up maybe Jose Miguel Fernandez There's Heredia, but I just I don't think so. I'll look to trade for somebody. Take care of that later. But the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna simulate series by series just to kind of see how the first month of the season goes. As I'm kind of expecting the rotation's not going to help so we might end up losing more games than we should so oh we beat Chris Sale in game one that's a uh, looks pretty positive to me it's so let's simulate to the end of the series uh, I don't care about the minor league roster. Uh, we took two out of three against the White Sox. Not bad. Simulate this first game against the Angels. We won a lot of games two to one. All the games we won, we won two to one. Ooh, six to nine. Okay, here's a team we should beat. <coughs> Three nothing. That's what I like to see. Ooh, swept them. Good job. Alright, on to the A's and takes me back to that epic wild card game last year. My A's just couldn't pull it out. And we just swept them. And now that we swept them, they want to offer us a trade. Alex Gord? No. I'm sorry. I don't want to take on that trunk contract to Coco Crisp. Like, I like Max Muncy, but I don't think he's worth it. So, no. Volquez is pitching pretty well so far this year. And then I say something, and that happens. He gave up all the runs. Let's see. Only made it through four and a third. Nine hits, four runs. As soon as I said something. Lost two out of three there. So back to the White Sox. And yes, again, we have to face Chris Sale. Take game one. Oh, we took game two with Chris Sale on the mound again. He made it eight innings. He just couldn't finish it off. And once Carrera came in, it was that was it. He even took out some Marja, the shark. So our offense is playing pretty well this year. I like what I see from them. Pitching staff isn't doing too bad. 
All right, we'll finish the series with a win. <coughs> and I'm only going to simulate to the end of the Cleveland series and leave the Detroit one for the next part. And we take two out of three against them, so we're 16 and six. Not a bad way to start the season. So for now, I'm just going to take a look at the standings, which we are four games ahead of the Tigers, but we have a three-game series coming up with them, so that'll be really important. Yeah, it's early, but you always want to take series from your rivals that are right behind you. Angels are 13-8. and eight. A's are 12-10. and 10. A's and the Tigers are leading the wild card along with the Red Sox. Marlins are 15 and 7. Seems like that Giancarlo Stanton deal is working out for him. Having D Gordon doesn't help or doesn't hurt either. Then we got the Cubs leading the Central. Cardinals, they're struggling a little bit first month of the season. Diamondbacks are 16 and 5. Wow. They are 9 and 1 in their last 10. Crazy. Then we got the Brewers and the Nats leading the wild card out there. And we've got to look at the American League East. So the Orioles at 13 and 9 with the Red Sox 12 and 10. Pretty much a crap shoot in the AL East just like every year. I think the most surprising was definitely the Diamondbacks. Did not expect them to be 16 and 5. But anyways, now we're going to take a look at the trading block real quick. See what people want to do. Not really seeing anything just yet. It is early though, so these will get populated and we may find some gems out here. I still definitely want to, <laughs> excuse me, still definitely want to go after uh, Cole Hamels. I think we could get him for pretty cheap. I mean, it's going to take some prospects, but I think I can pull it off. Tell me how you feel about that. But for now, that's where I'm going to leave it. We're 16-6 going into a three-game series with the Tigers. Excuse me, a four-game series. But it is at home, so I think hopefully we can take at least three of those. Win the series. But for now, that's where I will leave it. Until next time, everybody, stay classy and subscribe.